Hey FitFam, welcome back to Neri's Kitchen, your go-to channel for delicious and healthy recipes. Today is an exciting day because we're diving into week two of the 28 day belly burn program. And we've got a special plan from coach RJ called the triple refeed plan. So buckle up belly burners. All right, FitFam, let's get straight into it. Coach RJ has crafted this plan to keep our muscles full of energy and tackle those hunger pangs. Remember, it's all about alternating between high calories and normal protein levels to low calories and high protein days. Plus, we're extending our fasting time to 16 hours this week. Here's the breakdown for the week. It's a roller coaster of nutrition designed to fuel your workouts on high calorie days and burn fat on the low calorie ones. Now let's talk about the importance of those macros which are protein, carbs, and fats. On high calorie days, we've got more carbs to boost our energy levels, perfect for those heavy lifting sessions. And on low calorie days, we're focusing on higher protein to support fat burning while keeping you feeling satisfied. The key here is balance, fit fam. We're never going too low that you'll be starving. Yes, you might feel a bit hungry at the end of those low calorie days, but fear not. We're quickly refilling those muscles with the right amount of calories and carbs. Remember, this plan is about progress, not perfection. Each day is a step towards your goals. Now let's hop into my fitness pal, and I'll show you how to set up your meal plan for week two of the belly burn program. First, let's input those calories and macros for Monday. All right, so this is what my meal plan will look like for Monday. Just you want to open your My Fitness Pal app, and then I will be going to the More button, and then I will press um, under Goals, select that. Here, let's input our nutrition goals. If you click on Calorie, Carbs, Proteins, and Fat Goals, I'd like my calories to be about 1,600 calories. So let me just change this to 1,600. All right, and then for carbohydrates, we want about 30% of our calories from carbohydrates, so I'll just change that. Protein, we want 40 grams, sorry, 40% of protein. And for fats, we want about 30%. So let's click on the check mark. So now we're good for 1,600 calories at 30% carbs, 40% protein, and 30% fats. All right, so let's go click onto our diary and let's input our meal plan for Monday. So for breakfast, I like to just start off very simple and I just like to have egg whites. I'm a volume eater, so I like to feel very full. So I'm just going to add one cup of egg whites. There we go. And also I like my salty foods as well. And I like my turkey bacon. So I always have two slices of turkey bacon. Let's see if we can find that here. There we go. And coffee, I really love my coffee, but I love my cream as well. So let me see if I can find my creamer in here. Two tablespoons, that looks good to go. And also every day I always have a Nary bar with my coffee. So I've already inputted that into one of my recipes, but let's input it into my fitness pal as well. You just wanna click on add foods, go to my recipes. And here I have my Nary bar recipe saved. So let's select that. Okay, so that's about 500 calories for breakfast. Now for lunch, I like to keep it simple and I always have chicken thighs. What I'm doing is trying to add my proteins in first and then adding in the supplementary um, macronutrients. So I like to eat some cooked chicken thighs. All right, so here we have it. And I always weigh my food too. Make sure you guys have um, a food scale. I have about 150 grams of cooked chicken thighs. And I like to pair that with a salad. I always have my sweet kale salad. So let's type in kale salad. And um, I do measure my salads as well. You don't have to, but I like to. And I have about 100 grams of just the salad only. So let's select that, plus the dressing. And I measure this separately as well. I have about 20 grams, so let's select that. Okay. And then for dinner, I also, again, keep it very simple. I like to have cooked chicken breast. So I always look for the cooked measurements, not the raw measurements, because it does make a difference. So let's see, cooked chicken breast. And I like to have about five ounces. Okay, so it looks like we have about 
465 calories remaining. If you click on the top right button, there's a pie chart. So I can see what is remaining. So I need about another 25 grams of protein. So um, I actually am going to add that into my snacks. I'll just add a protein shake, make things a lot easier. And it's so good when you're on the go. I like to have my premier protein shakes. And here we have it, chocolate. Let's select that. Go back on the pie chart to see what, if I've met my protein goals, which I almost did. Looks like I need some more fiber and some more carbs. I love bananas. I have a banana every day. So I'm actually going to input another banana, a banana in here somehow. So let's put that under my snacks as well. I like to have about a medium banana. Let's input that in. Okay, so we have 200 calories remaining and we need some more fiber. So, you know, sometimes I don't always get enough fiber. I like to supplement it actually with some fiber gummies. So I like to actually eat that early on in the day so I feel fuller longer, normally for breakfast. So let's add some fiber gummies. Now I eat about four gummies actually. So let's put that in just to increase our fiber. Let's double check to make sure our fiber has gone up now to 19 grams, which is great. So I have 180 calories remaining and I didn't finish inputting my dinner. So I think I might eat, I like to eat salad. We're, this family loves salad. So let's eat some more kale salad. Okay, so I measure, here's the salad only. Let's input that. And we need the dressing as well. There we go, I think that looks good. I have 55 calories remaining. Did I meet all my goals? Let's double check again. And it looks like we met our goals. Short of protein by three grams, but that's not a big of a deal. But we're still within the budget and we did not go over our 1600 calories. So this is something that I would typically have on my higher calorie days, which are the Monday, Wednesday, and the Saturday. And if you haven't joined the Fit Fam or started the 28 Day Belly Burn program, hit that subscribe button and let's crush those goals together. Thanks for tuning in, Fit Fam. Until next time, keep it healthy, keep it tasty, and keep burning that belly fat.